ஹலோ ஆல் டுடே ஸ்டோரி அண்டர் அன்ஃபோல்ட் ஐபி சக்ஸஸ் செக்மெண்ட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி அபவுட் த வெரி ஃபேமஸ் அண்ட் ஃபேவரட் கோகோ கோலா ஸோ தெர் இஸ் அ ஃபேமஸ் சேயிங் தட் நெசசிட்டி இஸ் த மதர் ஆஃப் இன்வென்ஷன் ஸோ திஸ் மேன்ஸ் நெசசிட்டி லெட் டு திஸ் இன்வென்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ட்ரிங்க் என்ஜாய்ட் பை ஆல் யங் அண்ட் ஓல்ட் ஆல் ஓவர் த வேர்ல்ட் so we are looking at the story of one of the most successful brand and the most sought after beverage of the world it all started during the battle of columbus in april 1865 one mr john sith pemberton an american pharmacist was serving the us army so he was addicted to morphine a drug used to ease pain caused by wounds afflicted in the war being a pharmacist he wanted to find a substitute for the problematic drug he experimented with many painkillers and toxins and finally invented a recipe which eventually was made into the famous carbonated drink coca cola the first recipe or prototype formulated by mr john pemberton was called dr tuggles compound syrup of globe flour isn't it very long and funny all right thereafter he came up with another formula with coca leaf extracts and caffeine from the koala nut which he called pemberton's french wine coca as a substitute to morphine which was used for pain relief as i said earlier this recipe was founded in columbus and was carried to atlanta here pemberton took the help of temperance movement which was a social movement against consumption of alcoholic beverages so he took uh, the help of this temperance movement to launch his product obviously pemberton had to come up with a non alcoholic alternative to his french wine coca and therefore cocaine was removed from coca cola's formula on 8th may 1886 dr john pemberton sold the first glass of coca cola at jacobs pharmacy in downtown atlanta drug store soda fountains were quite popular in the united states during those days due to the belief that carbonated water was good for the health pemberton's new drink was marketed and sold as a medicine it was prescribed as a medicine for headaches nerve disorders morphine addiction indigestion and impotency and so on and so forth about 9 servings of the soft drink were sold each day the soft drink made 50 dollars in its first year the first year of business was a much of a success moreover it cost pemberton over 70 dollars in expenses to create the drink resulting in a loss however that was just the beginning of the story in due course it has come to become one of the popular and leading brands in the world It has multiple brands across different beverage categories and offers a variety of drinks including still and sparkling water, dairy, fruit juices, organic and plant-based drinks, teas and coffees etc. Presently Coca-Cola sells 2800 products which are available in 200 com- countries. The name of Coca-Cola was a suggestion given by Pemberton's bookkeeper Frank Robinson. Robinson who was known for having excellent penmanship thought that using two C's in the name would look striking in advertising as such cola became cola like say K O L A became C O L A and the brand name was born so Robinson was the one to design the trademark brand Coca Cola Robinson was known for having excellent penmanship and he thought using two c's in the name would look striking while being advertised so as such k o l a cola became c o l a and the brand name was born so robin so robinson was the one to design the uh, trademark coca cola which serves as the famous logo of today so the trademark coca cola was registered in the year 1893 and its popular bottle design was registered in the year 1960 in 1899 they signed an agreement with the bottling company they bought the syrup and produced the cola drink although the company has changed hands in between the brand's popularity has not changed which strongly emphasizes that you have a famous brand 
it is a property and can be sold in times of need even pepsi's ownership has changed a few times so if you can create such brands it's worth millions when it started it was a small entity but today it is an empire hence do not underestimate the value of your ideas or your trademarks or your brands so have big ideas big targets and big dreams who knows where you can reach there is so much that coca cola has taught the world of business and there is so much learning from it in my future post we shall see what coca cola has in store for us to learn thank you for watching subscribe and follow my channel for more interesting topics and updates on intellectual property and intellectual